Today I'm going to show you guys a quick easy style. It's a one braid ponytail. I get a lot of questions about it and I've done it on myself a few times and I love it. It's lit. Let's get into it. You would need a pack of expressions braiding hair. You will also need two scrunchies. Um, as well as a hair wrap for your edges because we got to make sure those things are laid. I use um, Shining Jam. You can either use Got To Be or the old school spritz. <laughs> for me, it depends on whatever style I'm doing. And you need some bobby pins and of course accessories. So what we're going to do right now is um, you don't want your ends to look like that, like that sharp look. So we're going to do the pre-stretch method and that's just literally pulling each string of the hair to make it kind of like not even and not dead on. And it should look something like this and it's a little thin because I have used a half of a pack of a hair instead of using the whole pack of the expressions and it's really up to you of like how thick you want your braid or how thin you want your braid i like my braid uh, thick but not too thick and not too thin right now i'm taking out some of my edges and adding some of that shining jam to keep my hair down as flat as possible because i'm like semi-natural but i had a a blowout and um, I had to really blow dry my hair to get that blow out look out. Because for some weird reason, it's hard for me to put my hair in a ponytail when it's bone straight. So I'm just combing the whole shining gem into my hair to make sure I get as much strands as possible. And I'm going to brush that thing down. Do not forget the kitchen. Make sure you get all of that and brush it, brush it. Try to get it sleek, like super sleek. The, the more laid down the hair is, the better your braid's going to look. Period. And I'm going to slick that up into a ponytail. Yes. Um... And as I try to get every little string in there, I am going to braid my um, leftover hair up. And I know some YouTubers, they like to braid the braiding hair into your hair. I don't like that only because I don't like all that tension in my hair. Um, if you're like tender headed or if you tend to get headaches quick, I wouldn't recommend to braid it into your hair so that when you do feel some type of weird tension, you can easily, easily snap that um, po ponytail out and it's not braided into the hair. So it'll be quick to take out. I'm using a small little rubber band to make sure I keep that braided down. And if you notice, besides that first rubber band, I mean that first scrunchie, I like to just use um, looped around my rubber band or my scrunchie one time because I really don't like excessive pulls and tight in my hair because the middle of my hair tends to get really tender. So less tension for me, but it's really your preference. It's really what you're comfortable with. I'm just laying down my baby edges. You could put as much baby edges out as you like or as little as you like. Some people don't like baby hair at all. To be honest, for me, it all depends on your hair type, your hair texture, and the forehead. Like for me, I have a huge forehead. My hair texture is weird where it's straight, it's curly, it's a little wavy. So uh, I'm not a big fan of the excessive um, baby hair. So if you notice, I just have a little bit of my baby hair out to cover this humongous forehead I have. <laughs> so I'm going to use another scrunchie to loop around the braiding hair. So what you're gonna do is flip it over to the other side where you'll end up with one loop. We're gonna rewind that back so that you can see it. And then 
into the loop de loop where you have like two and on each finger and then flip one underneath the other and you'll end up with one loop and that one loop is what we're going to use for your actual um, ponytail it'll go around your actual braid to create the ponytail base instead of actually braiding the braiding hair onto your actual hair slow motion <laughs> yes once you get your loop once again you'll notice i'll only wrap the um scrunchie around my natural hair one time i do not like excessive pulls and excessive tightness so i'll do it one time all the way at the bottom oh forgot to wrap my edges down make sure you tie your edges down you guys you want your edges to stay as flat and as laid as possible you don't want to do all the extra work just for them to flake right back up so make sure you have something to tie them down i've used um a edge wrap or you could use a scarf or a do rag anything that can keep those babies laid if you notice i split the hair in three parts and as you start to braid always go under for the first part of the braid you can do it a little bit loose because we will be pulling that apart for a little bit but um i like my braids tight because i like that nice neat look but it doesn't need to be as tight you can have a messy braid like the butterfly effect but for this particular look we're going for the tight braid so you're gonna braid it all the way down yes honey braid 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 <laughs> and i'm a little bit dramatic so i like my braids a little longer than most so i will be braiding for a little while and now usually when um you're doing your own head your arms can't reach all the way down especially if you have like a long braid so i'll flip it forward and i'll still keep doing the braids one braid underneath you go under 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 and you just keep braiding all the way to the end and once again i'm not doing the butterfly effect so i am gonna braid it all the way down to the end i don't want no curly hair if you do want your ends to be curly you can leave it um loose a little bit and then just use a curling rod dip it in hot water and then you'll be good to go but me i just want that one big braid look like that and then you'll take the braid and literally flip it to the other side to cover your natural hair and once you get it on that side you just pull make sure the hair is in its correct spot that you want it to be regardless if you want it to go from the back or if you wanted a side braid i'm going for the side look so i want the braid to sit on the side and you just stretch stretch and add bobby pins as you go to secure your braid and this is what i meant by not braiding the actual braiding hair onto your natural hair because because i like to sleep comfortably and like to snatch that thing out when it's bedtime so yes here we go and that's how your braid ponytail should look add your accessories edges should be laid and yes thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this quick tutorial and if you have more questions please leave it in the comment below the comment box and i will gladly answer every question and if you didn't get it the first time you guys please do not be discouraged you know you have to keep trying and keep trying and then you will get it eventually but i'm sure you will get it soon thank you guys for watching